Hi everybody. It's that time of year again. Sixteen, twenty, seventeen, twenty, eighteen, twenty, nineteen, twenty. This is my sixth annual worst songs of the year list. <laughs> Without further ado, I'm walking towards the store and I had to do it during the evening rush. Like, like there's a shitload of cars passing by me. I'm on the side, walk on the grass. Here goes. Ten. Good. Slumber Party by Ash Nico and Princess Nokia. My problem with Ash Nico is their Olympic singer. They're annoying. Hang in. Like, what they would, what they did with daisies, thinking two years ago or last year. They, daisies only made a dishonorable mention, and that one of those years. And remember, dishonorable mentions will be in the description. Ash and Ego is like they're deranged, blue haired, they're talentless hack. Nine is begging by Mel Skin. Yeah. Got another fucking Eurovision winner. This year was a decent year with rock. rock. Kind of like listening to. It's not. Kind of listen to. Like listen. Let the bad, bad times roll. Like. What is this? Wrong gear with some rock acts, namely Baby Mo and Lamb of God. And I love listening to Lamb of God. And I'm heartbroken that what's Bain I was disbanding. And there's a train going through, and I'm close to the tracks. Mel Skin, the lazy, lazy, and the, the song they used to win Eurovision is the same thing they, same song they used. to audition for the Swedish version X Factor. They're lazy and and this is the second time I rep on Euro uh, Eurovision. Go back to 28 go back to I worse of 2018 to see See, we're up on Nata. She did. Anyway, she did nothing else. Note. Note after winning Eurovision. Eight is 
Put Your Feelings at the Door by Jasmine Sullivan. Yeah, it's a shitty con comeback song. I'm going to show you our me singer. Like, the John Racine Butter Days. Like, the John, yeah, are unfortunately back in the dark ages. So I like uh, the likes Silk Sonic and Isla. Doing good things. That is a redundant breakup song. That is the only thing with none of that good. Know her from over a decade. Bust your windows. No longer relevant. Seven is a tie. And this good first song in the tie is Matt, not Matt, Matt at Disney by Sam Luis. Bo boring, annoying. And monotonous. The second song I'd tell you is Build a Bitch by Bella Porch. Same thing. Both songs are monotonous, boring, sounds like a Disney song, and are both one hit wonders. Thankfully, they're both one. And that's the only high point. Now that Disney, the little 20 something, do the Disney thing, build a, it's a shitty pun, the build a bear workshop. Six is uh, Sup It, uh, Iggy Azalea and Tyga. Uh, Iggy Azalea came and went. And no shit. No, is a so hers is a obviously is a bite by numbers Iggy Azalea song. You're not allowed to be surprised by my comments. Tell you make me roll out. Uh, uh, One, what's it? One, two, ten, nine, eight, seven, tie. Sit. We're at the top five. Five is. Uh, well, I, I used to, Russell Dickerson. It's one of those late, 
lazy boyfriend country songs. Like Dan and Shay, that shit, and they're not, and they switch over to pop. Hmm. Russell Dicker, Russell Dicker's in the one hit wonder. Four is Lonely by Bella Thorne. No, I look. Give up, Bella Thorne. People outside the Disney hates doesn't listen to your music. So, so. A lazy bedroom song. Free. Free's a tie. Twerk. Twerculator by City Girls. It's another. More twerk trash I saw. Twerk trash and misuses. And misuses. Planet Rock. Only getting the paper from that song. Africa Babata and Kraftwerk. The second song in the tie is Levitating by Dua Lipa uh, and the Baby. Song. The shitty romantic song. Song. That's uh, a rip off. Uh, old out, uh, Outcast classic. You know what? You don't know what outcast class that they're running off of? The answer is Rosa Parks. Rosa. Rosa Parks. Her Rosa Parks again recently. And outcast runs circles around Dua Lipa. Okay. Two is. Who's also a tie? Bust it by Erica Banks. It's a shitty song. She it's more twerk tactics. We only got big on TikTok. And thankfully. Thankfully, she's a fly. She's a one hit wonder. Second, so Body by Megan the Stallion. No That's all annoying, repetitive. More twerk tactics. Fuck, and it's by a by the book Megan the Stallion song. You're not allowed to be surprised about that comment either. Her song in the tie is Fancy Like Walk by Walker Hayes. The song only. Only got popular when it got used in an Applebee's commercial. I haven't ate at Applebee's for years, but people tell, told me you went there recently. 
not like it used to be. More nuanced restaurant, similar but better restaurants like Mod Pizza, Mellow Mushroom. Oh Smoky Bone, things like that. I say, no, no worry. Smoky Bone, uh, no worry. Roost Crust. The no, 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 the no one song, and the worst of yet, and that is also a tie. First, Positions by Ariana Grande. I had to stop right here, but I'm not going to be kicked out of the Lidl over this shit. Positions by, or yes, position by Ariana Grande. Getting sloppier, lazier, more monotonous. Second song in the tie. I, you broke me first. Tate McRae. First, first time a one hit wonder. Top the list. Take my cray. Discount. Dollar store bird. Lord. With touch of the halsey. And. Cash. Uh. First song in the tie is uh, Fought Shut by Megan Thee Stallion. I'm not going to even dignify why with a response and same with Up with Cardi B. The song, oh yeah, Eruptions. And, and Both, uh, both, both Cardi and the Stallion topped last year's with, list with wet ass pussy. And I'll have a link last year's video in the description also. No song in the top. Well, it's in the tie. Stupid fucking bitch by Bella Thorne. No shitty. Output by a former Disney star. I'm gonna have to love you and leave you here. Tell you what's your, what song you despise the most this year. Merry Christmas and all a good night.